It was 95 degrees this hot summer day when I left my house on a mission to find a place to camp in cooler weather. About an hour and a half later, I was up the mountain driving on the beautiful Blue Ridge Parkway and after a brief rain shower, the temperature had dropped to 73 degrees. I'm headed for a campground in the Mount Mitchell, North Carolina area. Mount Mitchell is the highest peak east of the Mississippi River. I'll be camping at a campground located right on the South Toe River. For the next few days, I'll be camping, fishing, cook up a fresh catch, clean, and cook fish and chip meal, and hike one of the local trails up in elevation for some great views. And there is the campground. Let's check it out. See if we can find a camp spot. And there's my little truck shell camp set up. It's actually one of the bigger campsites in the campground. I got really lucky on this one, I'm telling you. Campground's full now, which is amazing. This is Sunday, so usually Sunday is when people leave and um, go back home. Not this week. This road separates the upper and lower campground, but at night there's hardly any traffic on this road. And there is the Tow River. This is a hatchery supported stream. I fished this river more than once and caught rainbow brook, brown trout out of here. These clouds and this thunder have run off a lot of these people that were down here uh, swimming and tubing. It's really cleared it out. I'm thinking it might pass us by. If this storm passes us by, I might come back down here with my fishing gear and see what I can catch. It got cloudy and dark. It got windy. There was thunder, but no rain. I think we just missed it, so I got the fishing pole, some wader boots on. I'm gonna go down here to the river and see what I can catch. Well, the first hole I fished, <laughs> What do we have here? <sighs> Looks like a smallmouth bass. Hopefully I can catch a couple trout that I can cook for dinner later tonight. I know they're in there, I just have to catch them. Yeah. A rainbow. Pretty fish. Well, I caught a few small ones, enough for a meal, so starting to rain now. I think I'll 
walk back up to the camp, fry up some fish. My neighbor Wayne brought me these potatoes over from his garden. The skin on these potatoes are really thin and uh, these things have a great taste. A little olive oil. This is what I call fresh fish and chips. <laughs> yes, I believe I'll have seconds. Another beautiful day this morning. I think it's going to be a hot one. I walked down here to the Colbert Ridge trailhead it's maybe oh maybe a mile from the uh, campground this trail gained some elevation so i'm going to head up the trail and see if i can get some good views i started up this trail last year when i camped at the same campground and i got up here about two miles up the trail i would say and the bottom fell out i mean it started raining heavy so luckily i had a uh, raincoat in my backpack took the backpack off got the raincoat out put the backpack back on the raincoat over top of the backpack and um, I also took my cell phone out of my pocket I didn't want to ruin it reached around my back dropped the cell phone in the backpack got all the way back down to the uh, truck raining the whole time no cell phone <laughs> so back up the trail I went I knew it had to be probably where I put the raincoat on and uh, got up here to that area where I had put the raincoat on and I couldn't find the cell phone anywhere and I, I was about to give up and I remembered I'd laid my trekking poles up against a tree and one of the trekking poles slid off and slid down the bank about five feet and I had to go down there on, on a steep bank and get it so uh, sure enough went down there to where I had retrieved the trekking pole and there was the cell phone in the leaves I couldn't believe it. I was so lucky. And it actually still worked. It was in an OtterBox fully enclosed cell phone case. And the cell phone worked perfect. But um, moral of the story, don't just assume that your cell phone has fallen in your backpack behind your back. Uh, I won't make that mistake again. Lesson learned. I had to stop and look. This is about the biggest mushroom I think I've ever seen. <laughs> Great view up here. That's definitely some elevation gain. Beautiful. Starting to cloud up a little bit. It's leveled off. I'm about to the end of this trail. It just dead ends into another trail that's closed right now. So I think I don't want to get caught in the rain again like last time. So I'm going to head on back down, go to camp, pick something to eat. I think I better get a move on. <laughs> Here it comes. That thunder's getting louder and louder. <laughs> I think maybe I got lucky on this rainstorm. I think it might have went around me. I just knew I was going to get wet again on this trail. That would be two for two. The worst thing that can happen is I'll get wet, so no biggie. It's just now starting to rain very lightly, and there is the campground. Thank you, Lord.
Well, this has been another great trip to the North Carolina mountains. I'm going to get this camp broke down and packed up, head back down the mountain. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.